it's basically one of the important question in the interviews. It's a standard question. And in fact, when we are working with the projects, whenever we are implementing Fusion Financials to the client, definitely they will ask us, uh, can you configure some data access sets? Whenever we configure primary ledger successfully, system will automatically generate one data access set. Okay, whatever the ledger name you have, the same name is going to be your data access set name, your data access set name. And we can see that uh, this is system generated data access set and cannot be updated. And you will have the access to full ledger. And this is our chart of accounting structure instance and calendar and the, as well as the primary ledger we can find. Right. And we can see the privilege option read and write for all the values. But now client says that some of the employees should go ahead with the journal access, but they should not go for enter the accounting entries. They should just read the data. We wanted to give the access to full ledger. Okay. But they should read the data. Okay. So now let's go for create a new data access set here. I'm specifying enforces read only enforces read only here also again we have access set two levels entire ledger full ledger or primary balancing segment value primary balancing segment value so if you want to give the access to full ledger we can give you want to give the access to primary balancing segment value we can give it Okay, so now I am giving the access to full ledger. So choose your chart of accounting structure, Infosys chart of accounting structure instance. And then we have to choose the calendar, Infosys calendar here. And then choose your ledger. Here we will go for specify the access set assignment. You can go ahead with either ledger or ledger set. Ledger set is a group of ledgers. For example, we wanted to give the permission to the user to access primary ledger data, secondary ledger data, reporting ledger data, and we can also have consolidated ledgers. Consolidation, when we are talking about revaluation, consolidation, translation, we'll discuss in that session. So when we want to group multiple ledgers, then we can do that by using ledger set. At this point of time, we are working with only one ledger, which is Infosys primary ledger. Here, I'm going to make it as a read only. All values read only, save. Let's go for save and close. Now we wanted to test this. Either we can take existing employee or let me go ahead with a new employee. Let's say he's a finance manager. He need access just for a read only. choose legal employer as well as the business unit. Now we have successfully hired an employee and created user account also, finance manager. Let's add the GL roles here. Go to security console. And I set the password here. I think uh, this password is okay. Let me re enter again.
Now I'm going to add the GL roles here. Sometimes so it will be like this only. Don't worry. Let's refresh the page. It will be reset the password. Very rare case. It's an application issue. Now let's go for add these roles here. ORE underscore GL underscore accountant. Then one more role ORE underscore GL underscore accounting manager. These two roles are sufficient for us okay, uh, to access the GL and journals working and then go for provide the data access. We'll go to FSM environment. Let's go to FSM environment. And data access for users. Choose the username, choose the role name, data access set, and we have one built-in data access set which is created by Oracle. Now this one is uh, Infosys read only. Now let's go for duplicate here. Yes. So we added the data access set. Indirectly, it's access to the ledger only. But we have set the access set as read only. So user can just read the journals. He cannot create journals. Let me submit this uh, LDAP process. Now let's log out from here and log into the applications. Finance manager. I can go for journal accounting and try to create journals. We can search for the journals, not a problem. Let's go to manage journals. And I can see that uh, data access set is Infosys read only. Choose this uh, period, accounting period, and click. You will be able to find the journals. And now I am trying to create the journal. Go to task list, create journal. Uh, here, I, I don't find any ledger and all. See, I'm not getting this because you don't have the permission to create the journals. It's read only. So 
this is how we will go for uh, configure the data access it. It's a very common question regarding security point of view in general ledger module, uh, how you can configure the security. There are different ways. Uh, there is a cross validation rules, CVR rules. There is a security rule. There is a data access set. Right now we are talking about data access set here and cross validation rules and security rules we'll talk about in the topic corresponding topic comes here. So data access set by default, it will be created by the system when we configure primary ledger successfully. Uh, there we will have the access to full ledger, but client wants to restrict the user read only for entire ledger means full ledger read only or they wanted to give the access to the specific primary segment, primary balancing segment value. Means some of the companies, let's say you have two companies, 101 and 102, but I wanted to restrict for 101 is read only, but 102, okay, no issue. You can go for create journals by selecting primary balancing segment as 102. That time what we have to do, we have to choose, let me just create another data access set related to that. Let's log in as an implementation user because we have to do that setup uh, from our FSM environment. This user is not an implementation user. He is a transactional user, indirectly end user. Indirectly end user. Let me just cancel the page. Log out. Implementation user is nothing but our uh, software engineers. We are uh, implementing vision applications to the client. We are a functional consultant or technical or in our general language, we can call it as IT software engineers. We are implementation users. We will have the access to setup and maintenance. We don't give this access to the employees, end users, client end users. We don't give it because if we give this permission to them, they may do some wrong in the setups, right? Now. That's why right. setup and maintenance will be under the control of implementation users. I'm going for data access set here. Let's go for data access set. Now enforces read only we did, right? I would like to go ahead with this. Let me go for create one more. Enforces underscore. One zero two, one zero one. I read only just for identification. I'm just trying to. So select primary balancing segment value, access set type, and choose chart of accounting structure. This is all common. We'll choose Infosys. The moment when we choose primary balancing segment value here, the system will allow us to select the values. So you want to go for all the values uh, or read only or specific values. Uncheck this checkbox, specific value. If you have any parent and uh, child values, means if we have any accounting hierarchy, we can choose here parent value or single value. And right now we are working with single value. How many companies you have? Two companies, 101 and 102, Infosys Consulting and uh, Infosys Insurance. I wanted to restrict 101 as read only. The second one is uh, read and write. Like this, we can restrict that segment level, primary balancing segment level. Let's go for save and close and provide this data access to the user. Let me take the same user, what we have taken earlier, manage data access for users. Oh, which user? Finance manager. Users with the data access change this radio button. Search. Could see this. I wanted to remove it, rework. 
data access assignments. Finance manager, choose the role name, data access set, Infosys 101 read Use this data access set. So data access set is basically, it's a security context in GL module. By default, uh, when we create a ledger, automatically one data access set will be created for full access. After providing this, let's go for uh, initial users and submit. Submit this. LDAP process is mandate. It is also again one of the important question regarding the LDAP process. For example, I have hired an employee and created a user account and I have just added the roles. Uh, do I need to run the LDAP process for roles update also? No, not required. For roles update is not required. It will automatically update. But when you are trying to provide the data access, then LDAP process is mandatory. Now let me just log out from implementation user and log in as a transactional user. These are all words we have to use in the entry point of view. So we will do the setups by using implementation login. And we will also go for perform the transactions by login with the, our uh, transactional user. Let me just go for general accounting and journals. Oh, sorry, finance manager, right? Not John Smith. Finance manager. Infosys read-only data access. Still, it's not updated. We have added uh, Infosys 101, right? Still, it's not added. Let me just check uh, what is the status of your LDAP process. But this employee does not have the access to the scheduled process because you don't have the permission for uh, employee role. That is the reason. Nice. Just checking. Now, what happened here? If you look at retrieve latest LDAP changes program has been blocked. Uh, maybe multiple users might have submitted at a time due to that reason also it will be blocked. It takes a couple of minutes time to update that information. But we have already seen that how the data access will work for a ledger level as well as for the segment level. Now it will it'll work for segment level also. Okay, so there will be a standard questions in the interview point of view regarding this data access set read only. Uh, at for full ledger as well as journal and also we will find uh, the practical work also in the project point of view when we are working in the support project or when we are working in the implementation it's required okay so this is about uh, the interview questions uh, which comes from the data access point of view. thank you